Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me. It's time for story time. It's time for story time. Yes, it's time to read along with Miss Dunbar. And today we'll be reading the story. It's entitled, Say Sorry. Do you often say sorry? When do you often say sorry? Let's go right into this book and see what it is all about. Little Frog jumps up and down the pond, making splashes real high. So, Little Froggy jumps up and down. Come on, up and down, up and down, making splashes very high. Several ducklings cheer him on as he passes by. I wonder what chair they made for little Froggy. Maybe they said, go Froggy, go. Go Froggy, go. Jump higher, jump higher. Splash higher, splash higher. Yes, they might have been doing something like that. Look at them. Their mouths are open wide and they're singing along, cheering Little Froggy on. And I think that's a good thing because Froggy seems very happy. One wave takes them by surprise because it is really, really high. Little Froggy quickly apologizes. Oops, I'm sorry. The duckling smile. No problem, Froggy. It's okay. The sun will make us dry. And that's the end. So, Little Froggy, what can we say about Little Froggy? Yes, he is very, very polite. He knows that when something goes wrong, he should say that he is sorry. Do you apologize when something goes wrong? Do you say, Mommy, I'm sorry, Daddy, I'm sorry? Or maybe to your friend or your sister and your brother? Always remember to apologize when it is needed. So whether you need to say, sorry, mommy, I won't do it again. Or sorry, mommy, I shouldn't have done that. Always remember to apologize to whether big people or little people like you. What's the moral of the story for you? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching say sorry and remember say sorry when you need to it means that you are polite bye bye polite boys and girls see you another time